repetitive, but blanket language was um, twice awarded for this kind of work. So, um, uh, Plinkett, Ani, um, people have been noticed at the federal level. Uh, and the second grant for the $450,000 was funded propitiously right at the time of the stimulus funds. So uh, this award came under that money. And that's why we got as much as we did, I'm pretty sure. Under what funds? The, the stimulus money. Oh, Remember yeah. back then? Right, right, right. Yeah. So the American <coughs> and Something Act, I think it's yeah. on your hand up. Um, so, uh, as you can read there, we traveled all around Plinkett, Ani, uh, to record, took direction from the community, language communities, wherever people wanted to uh, give us advice. We asked for it, we tried to take it. Uh, so there were, um, in the end, about, I think there were over 60 people were recorded. And um, you have the list there on the back. And uh, a multitude of people worked on transcribing, playing it, translating into English, and formatting for the web. And with that, what I'd like to show you is uh, how to use this website. You have the website in large print on your handout. This is a redirect, so it'll go to a longer uh, URL. Uh, but when you go there, you'll find this um, introductory page. And here are these two people sitting right here. Ishmael Hope and uh, Cyril George were just in front of you. Um, Selena is here today. Uh, so this is just uh, passing through some of the, um, the recordings that are on here. Not just John is here. Um, Marty, you've seen today. Ruth Demert uh, is currently uh, having a surgery, so she was to be keynote here, but she couldn't make it. George Ramos is here. Walter Sobolev has walked into the forest. Um, Bessie Jim just told me not to show her. Winnie Atlin is here today, too, not in the, uh, uh, right here. Uh, uh, Jimmy Johnson, Smith Ketsey from uh, Pluck One, and uh, Segaya. We were in Canada. Here we are in Yakutat. George Ramos again, Lena Fargus. But um, so on this website, uh, you can see. Um, and uh, um, if you're looking on your own computer, you'll see that on the left-hand side there is some information about the project and how to use things. On this uh, computer projector, it cuts the screen off, so um, I'm not able to show that. But uh, down here we have a list of the videos that so far have been uh, put up on the website. We were able to record um, over 40 hours of conversation throughout the region. Um, and we have a, a sample of those recordings here. More are being put up all the time. So um, one thing you can do with these is just watch and listen. My earphones like this. Computer kids, that's the good one. I was a doctor's uh, job. Uh, yeah. 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 Thank 
ียงตาขึ้นจากตักเตาปัจจุบันโดยการนักเอสเอสภาษาคือคือคือตักเสาปัญญาเกิดสันนิษฐานไอ้กูจะเข้าใจใจแล้วเรื่องข้อใจ Um, another thing you can do, and when you just have these that you're listening to and watching, read along. But uh, another thing that some people are doing is just turning them on, letting these people sit on the other side of the room, have a conversation with themselves while they go about. Doing whatever they're doing, just like these people are sitting in their homes and they're getting exposure. Uh, it, it's so astonishing to me the people that I have heard from who say, "I learned a language in my home I didn't speak, but I learned to understand everything just from hearing people talk." And you know, we have this idea that you have to know what's going on, uh, you have to see people doing things. But these people that I hear talking about it, they haven't heard, they haven't watched. Say, you know, she's going out with uh, her uncle's uh, cousin, and they shouldn't do that. You know, they understand it, right? I don't know how they learn that, but it's from the stuff that's going on on the side. So I think there's a lot of value in just being exposed. Back to these recordings. Another thing you can do is uh, for the little speaker icon. You can click on that. <laughs> So, uh, because of the streaming, sometimes the end is cut off. But the idea is that you can listen over and over and over to the same phrase, say it back, listen, say it back, and learn in that way. So, hand of the baby. <laughs> Another thing you can do with this is search for a word in either language. So here are these two women. They've got a baby. Uh, uh, both of both Helen Sarabia and Flora Shapley are here at the conference. The baby, I don't know about, but um, it's, we can use the usual um, command F or control F to search for a word. So I'm just going to search for baby. Okay, so I want to learn the word for baby. So the word for baby is. From listening to this recording, I know that word. They say it a lot. So you highlight the word you want to learn and then it repeats it? Um, if you want to hear it repeated, you uh, see this speaker icon over here. What I've done is pause the recording so that I can go to the place I want and then click on it. Yeah, to Canadian, to Canadian. 
Have you heard that anymore? Or like an expression when you're saying good words about your in-laws. The time comes. My dad used to tell me, Taste out there, Chuck, but sky enough to say no, Jane. Can't sit you on now, I've all the time. Just skip ahead in the yeah. video. <coughs> okay, George Ramos. Okay. So I'll just uh, tap on the picture, play. So I'm going to uh, tap on it again to pause it. And all of these directions for how to play, pause, search, repeat are at the beginning of the file and they're over here in this area that's not showing up but Duffy has uh, her computer has it up and uh, she can show this right hand column to you there but at the beginning of every single one of these is the directions for how to do these things uh, so I want to uh, go further in into the, the file um, I can drag down here mm. to somewhere else mm. and uh, just click here. Mm -hmm. And then when you push play again, it'll start from there. Okay, go to home. Yeah, okay, you know what you call Yeah, yeah, question. Take hot hack, which takes our knife. 
So if you wanted to learn to read from this, what what would you do? Listen along to the spelling, I guess. So you can know, you see the spelling. Mm -hmm. And if you listen, you can hear it, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I would do. Okay, so listen, listen and, and read along for long enough until then you might, I saw Lena Farkas do that. Just do what I'm say. She said, oh, okay, wait, don't play this. The next one, she looked at it. Okay, she said, play it. That's what I thought, she said. And then she read the next one aloud and then played it. Yeah, I was right, she said. She's a speaker, but she wasn't a reader writer. It's five minutes less. Okay, there was a question over here. Okay, is there a way to look at it without, like, to take away the English and then put it back in like, so you can listen to it without um, having the translation right there? You know, if we put it up on YouTube, yeah. And that's not impossible, but uh, it hasn't happened yet. Or, like, if you go to full screen, does it? Does it show it without the transcript? Like the transcription is really helpful, but also, mm -hmm. is it possible to blow it up so that there's not the, the kind of the dialogue? Box? Um, I you want to see only the English? Or no, just like just the video rather than the. Oh, just the video. Um, no. Okay. I, well, maybe you could just figure it out on your computer. You could maybe close the screen up. Put a piece of paper. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> There. Maybe oh, yeah. that's my word. And this is acting weird, you know, I keep dragging down the, the words a little bit. That's not happening on your computer. It just, it, the highlighting <coughs> shows clearly. I've never seen this happen before. Yes? Yeah, Alice. Uh, wonderful. Um, is this more of a site for like uh, an advanced learning person, mm -hmm. an adult? high school student this site more than let's say a child in, in elementary school because our, our blanket language we have you know sounds that you've got to learn how to say all the different days and the k's and the kw's and accents should you learn that alphabet hear that first before you go into saying these sentences have you, have you watched a child mm -hmm. grow up and learn to talk yeah. Did they learn the alphabet first? No, they just learned from mm -hmm. from here. Now this, you know, this kids. I haven't seen children look at this, listen to it. So I would assume they wouldn't care about it at all. But who knows? Just talking heads, right? This is documentation. It's not a documentary to you know with a storyline and an arc and a transformation and a conclusion. It's people talking <coughs> from the time we turn the camera on to the time we turn the camera off. Mm -hmm. And um, I think if this were playing in a home classroom while other things were going on, I think kids would pick up a lot. I think they would learn these non-English sounds. Even Florence is nodding her head. Because when you were a child, you heard people talking all around you. Carrie? I was just going to say, hearing all of those sounds is the first step to being able to produce them. Mm -hmm. So having that playing in the background in your house would be a huge way to expose your kid to. But it's not like turning on a kid's TV show. No, just having it playing as background noise. Right? Yeah, I, I agree. I was trying to. But I think it in the background so I wouldn't always have to think of things to say it with mm -hmm. uh, my kid. But there's also these puppet videos on the State Library that John and Mark did and, and Eva. And yeah. Eva. Uh, but you gotta Google Let's Learn Clink It and I think it's C-L-I-N-K-E-T. Uh, so that's the only important thing. They're not missing the spelling. Creepy at times, it's just sort of winding box. I mean, the place is phenomenal. It's just 
And there's no subtitles, there's no English, but you can, it's very visual, you can see it all. That's on YouTube? Uh, it's on actually the uh, state libraries. Oh. It, it, it's on some, I can't remember the name. Help. There's so many of us here that can get blessed and find that and then let us know. Um, we'll, we'll go for a moment to Huna. Yeah, it's on my own. There was a lot of people who had 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 a lot of people so some of these are only translated and not transcribed. It's so much more uh, labor intensive, I say as I watch it. <laughs> labor intensive to do the transcription. Uh, so we were committed in our project to doing uh, 15 hours of transcribing to Tlingit, 30 hours of translation to be. Should I take this off first? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> so I think we're going to be seeing some more of this tomorrow. Um, So when we get down to the part where I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you guess what's going to happen here in, in the kitchen tomorrow, and you'll hear the sizzling going on, and you'll believe you can really smell <laughs> Okay. Uh, any other questions or comments? I have a comment. I just think this is really incredible. This website is amazing. And I'm so glad you had the vision to make this happen in such a timely way. We've lost several of the elders that you captured on video. And I just think this is amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, you have cooperated for all those years since 2007 to make this happen. Wow. Can we access this stuff on this? Mm -hmm. Website. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. And, and my, my email address is on there if you have trouble with it. Uh, send me a message. Don't just, mm -hmm. don't just get mad at me because <laughs> we're all on the design team. And uh, the University of Alaska Southeast uh, tech people, Dave Klein, figured out how to get these things to work almost everywhere. And he'll fix it. Yeah, I was wondering about, um, is there a commitment by the university for long-term um, uh, maintenance of this data? Um, uh, in this form? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I hope so, and the more publicity it gets, the more likelihood there will be that it uh, will be maintained. Uh, I think that the powers that be there are very happy to have this there. Um, uh, and we're now in the process of getting the proper release forms uh, to house the original recordings and all the electronic um, post-production housed at the um, Library of Congress. 
American Folklife Center, which I was introduced to by your conference, Breath of Life, in Washington, D.C. Okay, Lance. Just to speak to that, our general philosophy is to, to continue documenting language, you know, and, and to continue working with uh, with Alice and whoever's game to document speakers. Uh, um, Southern Cricket is something we should really focus on, and also some of the other interesting dialect differences in, in Cricket in some different areas. But our general goal is to document as much as we can and to turn, have a quick turnaround so that we can it publicly. We have a lot of communities that have limited bandwidth and, and other things. We're trying to, to figure out those, and we're trying to come up with creative uh, agreements with other language archives so we can access cloud storage and, and we can just make things very freely mm -hmm. available. Okay. And that's kind of our philosophy. It, it's really the, the best example I've seen of a project with quick turnaround and full availability to everybody. It's just fabulous mm -hmm. and enormous. Um, yeah, Louise Parker uh, from Tesla Whitehorse it is work using the um, website to learn and I asked her if she'd share with you what she's been doing and see if there's anything you can learn from that. So as a language learner, I had a really difficult time learning because um, one, number one, my age. Number two, I couldn't keep up with the language with the fluent them. speakers. So the fluent speakers, they speak in a normal voice and they talk fast, just like we all do in English and we all understand what's being said. But for me, I had a hard time and I wanted to hear this so I would listen to this. And when I reached a point where I didn't understand a word or a phrase, I would stop it. I would click on it, play it again, listen very intently, repeat, click it again, listen to it, repeat until I got it. And I did this now for two months. And I'm starting to be able to keep up with the elders in the language, listening to them. You need to listen to different elders speaking because they all speak at a different level. Their voice, their tones are up and down. So you need to, as a learner, you need to be able to hear the language spoken by lots of elders. So I listen to this. This is one of my main websites at home that I listen to all the time. And I have figured out a way to record this on my iPad, my MP3 player, and I sleep with it. <laughs> now, when you sleep with it, at first I had headaches. <laughs> I wouldn't believe. Uh, sometimes I'd wake up with elders, they would be laughing, and they would wake me up during the night when I was listening to them. But, point being is I, I'm determined, I really want to learn the language. I have to go home, I don't have much time here, and I want to be able to teach it. So I really have to, and, and this is such a beautiful resource, that you, you, you know, when you're learning the language, you can't always say to the elders, repeat, repeat, you know, they get tired of that too, when you're talking to them. So this way you can repeat it over and over until you get it. And not only that, listen to it all the time. And so you're picking it up. You're, I, I'm able to pick up the long and the short vowels, uh, the consonants that are difficult for me, like the XWs, the pinched XWs. Those are difficult for me. So I'm still, you know, it's a great resource. I, I can't. Uh, thank Alice enough for, for the work that they've done on this because as a language learner I'm able to access this website and use it all the time. And I'm told it really helps. And it does. Now you're listening to it and understanding it and how about speaking it? Is that 
I mean, are you able to do that now better? I'm very impatient with my learning. <laughs> and my elders have told me that it's going to take you a while, Louise. You have to be patient with yourself. Just keep listening to this. You will get it. It's a matter of time and commitment from yourself to access this and use this. And I think this is wonderful to be able to use this. So it is helping. I'm told it is. Um, I've, people have noticed that I've uh, picked up the pronunciations. I'm better able to pronounce things. And uh, also to be able to understand elders when I hear them speak. So it does help. Okay. So how did you get it on your MP3 player? She got, she got it from me, and we're going to, you know, we're in the process of putting them up on the website, so that you will be able to download just the audio, okay. MP3, you know, compressed or iPod. Yeah, just, iPod. Yeah, iPod. iPod. Okay. MP3. <coughs> uh -huh. um, I just wanted to. I'm really proud of you. Um, because as you were talking at first, the, one of the first things I thought of was that should be in, played over and over in your sleep. And then you said you did it, and it made me, it takes me back to Florence's class and the determination that you have and the drive you have. <coughs> might not be enough for you to learn, but when you're able to take these other things and bring them into your own being, it, it magnifies what you're able to do on your own. And Kakasha has told me from day one, listen, listen. And I would listen to the, the cassette tapes. I'd put it on in my sleep from beginning to end when I was taking her class, and that was one of the ways I got the input. And that's what a lot of us have been missing, is the input. And this kind of documentation project is giving us the resource to have that input. Just like when I was in Kakashat's class, she would give me all of that input. Um, and then meeting people and growing as a language learner, and using some of the other resources. Just a quick example of what happened to me as I was brainwashing myself in my sleep. That's what we started calling it. I was brain, brainwashing myself. Um, the Dog Point Fish Camp CDs that Kufie put out over in Sitka, they're lullabies, they're children's songs. And I would put that in from time to time in my sleep. And I woke up one morning, and all I could think of was Kisani. I had no clue what the word meant. But here, their lullaby is about little, it's a little boy's lullaby. And so they're singing Kisani, Kisani in the lullaby. And so I would hear that how many times at night. And I woke up, Kisani, and like, what's Kisani? <laughs> so it allowed me to grow more as a learner. And I'm just really tickled that you're doing something very similar to what I did. It gives me a lot of hope. Um, and to know that the work that Alice has done with all of our speakers and a lot of us in this room, that it's being utilized already and that you're finding a use for it. This is amazing. And like you were saying, we can't thank Alice enough for having this vision for our language and for all of the speakers who've been working with her and working with us since the last 15, 16 years, it really gives me a lot of hope. And if I can do it, anyone can do it. And that's proof. I mean, I just, yeah. I can't say enough how proud I am of your accomplishments. It's a lot, and it takes a lot of dedication. So, can it cheesh? The other thing that um, I think people need to know is <clears throat> I had to come to Alaska from the Yukon to uh, get language learning 
and I went to residential school. Um, so she was brainwashed in the other way. And she was an understander before she went to residential school. So for me, this is healing for me. Okay. When I can go home and I can speak my language, then I know I will be a full, <laughs> grown, clinging woman. That's what I'm here for. I could hear my mom speak before they beat it out of me. And I want to, I want to learn again, so that's why I'm here. So, I miss my family, I miss my grandchildren, my husband. They're not here with me, but I'm here because I'm determined to get back what they took away from me as a young girl. So I really encourage everyone, pass that message along. There are many of us who have been traumatized by loss of language, and this is one of the most beautiful ways to start and learn it. And for me, it's going to be a long journey, I know that, but I'm determined. And I'm, I'm speaking to my grandchildren as, as I'm learning. They're learning every time I phone them up. Grandma, what else did you learn today? Mm -hmm. You know, so they're asking me already, and I'm not even home yet. Mm -hmm. Grandma, we can hardly wait for you to get home and tell us what you've learned. So it starts there with my daughter doesn't speak or my son, but, but that's okay. My grandchildren, that's who I'm targeting. And I want them to learn along with me. So. I will show them this website when I get home. They can listen to it. So, and I'll pass on what I've recorded on my MP3 to them. Because they need to hear it too, just like me. So I think it's one of the greatest. I, I just can't thank Alaska enough for all the resources that I've been exposed to since I've come here. Lance, for your knowledge and for your teachings as a teacher. All the elders that I've met along the way here, I'm really excited about what I'm doing here. And that's what, for me, although I miss home, it's, uh, I'm just happy to be here. And so, pass it along to everyone you know. It's a great project. Thank you. Thank you. And it's a supplement <coughs> to the speakers. Yes. That when you talk to them, there's a juice. There's some something that happens. It, there's emotional. There's you know when you make eye contact with somebody, that's something we don't know what it is. That's your primary source. This is a supplement. Yes. Um, just a uh, question. Shuka. Uh, you you hear you uh, a has to hate to see ach. Has to hate to see ach. Her young wife said he are a trouble uh, has to please go has to. Ajaya, ya yis ka katsu ya yis sha. Tlokkunak ye jitu ne. 
huge. Which in Yeji today. Uh, uh, ka oe ha 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 yaki ha yaki uh, shuka uh, stuas a tu ha yukatangi ha nehi ha nehi nach gurtish so these things are available to you to use and uh, go forth and use them. Uh, we'll take a few minutes to transition to the next workshop, which is to collect as a body uh, language to use with children. The idea is for us to think of things that we hear kids say, we want them to be able to say in Tlingit, uh, things that we say to kids that we want to be able to say in Tlingit. We'll get the phrases from elders and we'll write them and record them. So let's uh, uh, reassemble at um, ten, uh, 5 to 5, half to five. Maybe that's one of the things And she talked about recording and listening in to that night while you're sleeping. The back of the night. The girls at the back of the night. Because um, uh, I started teaching in 96 out at the university. And Hans was one of my students. 
and I would tell him, buy one of those recorders that can play over and over, that no matter what day, it'll replay itself. And he came to school one day and he says, it works, it works. And I'm learning that's when he called, talked to me about that. <laughs> 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 and he knew the word, but he, he couldn't remember, you know, why, why is there. But that's one of the key things is to listen, really listen, even to my, my Connie, you know, that, that, um, and to listen. Listening is the key to the language. You have to listen to the sounds. And you, you, you yourself know that the tones, tones go up, tones go down. And if you just talk straight without putting the tones, and it doesn't sound good. And the monotone, um, it, it loses its meaning. So those of us that are speakers, you know, um, one of the things that my mother used to say is we're losing some of our words because we don't use them anymore. Mm -hmm. And it's because we don't, maybe we don't do that anymore, or maybe we don't eat that anymore. You know, it's so easy for us to just go to the store and replace that with something else. Or else it's hard for us to get, you know, everything. As people that live here in Juneau have to barter and uh, trade to get some of the trinket food that we have. But um, I talked to a cab driver one time when I was uh, first starting to teach, and one of his one of his uh, words to me was, "He says, oh, it'll never happen." It takes 25 years to bring the language back. But look at what's happening. <laughs> it's happening. And I appreciate everybody that loves their language and loves their heritage that are learning how to speak. Good change. Good change.